Rock Cafe in downtown McCook, Nebraska is a very successful small town business. They offer a variety of goods and services and continue to incorporate new ideas and products. Seinert's Bakery began in Germany in 1521. The family-owned business came to the United States in 1896 and opened in McCook in 1957 by Walt and Jean Seinert. Their son Matt and his wife Shelley took over the small bakery in 1990. Seinert's keeps old family and cultural traditions alive, such as baked goods, beer ox, and their infamous Jiffy Burgers. But the bakery could not survive on tradition alone. So with the advent of grocery store bakeries and things, we needed to change and expand, so we opened the Beer Rock Cafe in 1999. Basically, our idea went from selling a loaf of bread to selling two slices at a time in a sandwich. So that's kind of the concept. We, we wanted to create a space where we could expand our lunch business and catering. One of our mottos is uh, something familiar with the twist. And, and there's a couple examples of that. One is our apple planter sandwich, which is really popular. Sainert's also found an opportunity to expand into the wholesale pizza crust business. Many customers are unaware of this aspect, but it is the number one reason for their success. One third of total profits come from pizza crusts, and this trading area extends across state lines, bringing revenue into the McCook area where it circulates. Since we're in the belt of the United States that, that grows wheat, we, we know a lot of the farmers that grow the wheat and the mill is 40 miles away and, and so it's just that circle of life happens right here and I think that's really cool. Live at the Bear Rock is, is just a passion for music. I, I also have called it create a catering. We bring this music but we also serve a dinner so we created uh, an opportunity to, to make a meal and serve people. And then also uh, we got a liquor license so we can have a refreshment before the concert. And then we bring in these national artists that, that play here at the Beer Rock. I think it creates a sense of community. Sainert's employs traditional and guerrilla marketing strategies, such as by customer request email listings, product donations, and involvement with community art and music events. Their overall success is due to a variety of factors, including making use of local resources and markets, being a main attraction for past and present community members, and igniting innovation with unique ideas, services, and products. But that uniqueness, uh, if you don't go too far off the beaten path, if, if you just take it a little bit off the edge, then people will crave that. I think. There's just so much cool stuff going on with technology and things. You, you've got great, you just got to let your mind wander out there and grab something and, and create a little business with it. So I think the future's bright.